So my name is Marcel Vandenbrink and I'm the head of the Division of Hematological and Malignancies at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. I'm very interested to work and to be part of the uh, scientific uh, board of Smart Immune. And there are a number of uh, reasons why I find it uh, interesting. First of all, I'm very happy that they're taking forward a project that is focused on developing precursor uh, T cells um, as a way to um, improve the T cell repertoire, the T cell function of uh, patients who have a, a deficiency in terms of uh, T cells. Um, this is a project that I have worked on uh, previously also. And it was something that we studied only in mouse models. And in mouse models, we were able to uh, demonstrate that uh, generating outside of, um, of the body of a mouse, so in a, a tissue culture flask, precursor T cells, and then using them as a cell therapy, that we could um, improve the function of these mice after an allogeneic transplant in terms of uh, resistance against cancers and against uh, viruses. So at that time, we were very hopeful that we could take that forward and turn it into a, a trial. We struggled. We worked on that for some years and were never really able to uh, pull that off. So I was very happy when I was um, contacted by all the folks of Smart Immune um, and saw that they had found a way to actually generate now for patients ex vivo a precursor uh, T cells. And we hope actually that um, some of the work that they are doing could be of benefit also for our own uh, patients um, because one of the uh, clinical tasks that I have is to be an allogeneic bone marrow uh, transplant doctor. We actually think that based upon this uh, strategy that we can go one step further and that we can maybe generate precursor uh, T cells that we arm with something called a, a chimeric antigen receptor, which is a way to make these precursor uh, T cells also able to fight off uh, cancers. But you could also go one step further and generate these cells from anybody or from core blood stem cells. And in that way, you could build a bank of uh, precursor cells that could be used for any patient. In our mouse models, we have demonstrated that you can do that. So I think based upon what I've seen so far in terms of where smart um, immune is, um, they're now already opening the first studies, putting uh, precursor T cells into patients. Um, so I'm hopeful that within the next um, uh, two years or so, that we will see that they can do it also across MHC barriers, that is what we call that, that they can uh, do that with um, stored cells uh, that are not matched in any way to donor or to uh, patients. So hopefully within the next years, two years or so, we can see for really uh, the first time that that kind of um, cell therapy could actually become a reality.